In this video, we we'll explore the different function of the revolve tool. We will do the full revolve, and second, we will cover a case study where we revolve about an angle. So, for the first exercise, please open up the part file revolve tool with full revolve dot ipt. So this is the final shape. First, we'll try to apply the diameter dimensions with center line. And after that, we'll perform a full revolve. Upon opening, this is the sketch that has been generated within the part file. We will now try to apply these diameter dimensions with center line. Let's go into sketch number one and edit it. Double click on this icon. Now, when we add dimensions, about two lines, it's always a linear dimension. However, this as a cylindrical shape, it's always best to present it in a diameter dimension. So therefore, let's delete this three dimension. Under, diamond, under this, click on the center line and select center line at the top right hand corner. You notice the line has changed shape. Now, let's apply the dimension tool. Click on dimension and click over here. You notice now there's a diameter symbol that has been presented. And the extension line is off to the other side. Let's add more dimensions. And lastly, this portion. Now let's apply the revolve tool. Click finish sketch to end the sketch. Under the 3D model tab, create panel, click on revolve. Automatically, the profile has been selected and the axis has been also selected. Press OK to end the full revolve. Now, we will revolve about an angle. So we have somewhat similar product, but we will do a cutout revolve over here. Let's open the part file, revolve extend to an angle, .ipt. Same thing, the shortcut for revolve is R. Again, Automatically, the profile has been selected and the axis has been generated. This is quite straightforward. We have the join, we have the cut, and we have the intersect function. Let's leave it out first as default. On the extend, expand it and change it to the angle. And change this 90 degree to, to, to 225. Notice that this thing has been moved the other way. Press the OK key. So this is how you do a revolve about an angle. 